In this session, we're going to apply lipstick. My file for this session is already open. Open yours so you can follow along with me, or if you prefer to use mine, just open mine. Let's zoom in. And take a look at her face. You want to see her eyes as well as her lips so we can balance this together. If we just want a real natural look to the lipstick, we just really want to increase the contrast and color saturation of the lips a little bit. So we'll duplicate the layer that we've been retouching, which is the background copy, and change the blending mode from normal into one of these categories, the third category down that goes from overlay down to hard mix. So overlay and soft light are probably the most popular for this, and I generally prefer the soft light. Because see what you can see that it does there is it increases the, the um, contrast and the saturation of the colors. And overlay is a little harsher, see, it's a little stronger than that. So I generally go for the soft light, but you can pick what you want. Then we're going to add a layer mask, hiding all. And then using the brush tool with white as the foreground color and about 20% opacity and 100% flow, we're just going to come in and begin to paint in a little bit brighter lipstick, a little more contrasty and brightness right over her lip area. And go ahead and overdo it. I always like to overdo things here and then back off a little bit as I'm cleaning up around the edges. Okay, once you've applied the lipstick, Reverse the foreground and background color, so black is the foreground color. Around the outside of the lip area here, we're going to be at about 50% opacity. I'll zoom in one. And a little smaller brush here. We're just going to clear off what overspray may have left the lip area. Like that. Several coats because we're working at a lower opacity. And this is going to give us a softer edge. Where you want a harder edge, bring the opacity up to 100%. And we'll use a little smaller brush to make sure that we can clean this off of her teeth. And just keep this change right in the lip area, lipstick area here. Just like that. We'll zoom out again so you can view her entire face. Reduce the layer opacity to zero and then bring it back until you have just enough color to look natural and nice. See before and after. Maybe she could have a little more lipstick. Not a lot just a little bit. Very nice and natural. When you're happy with the, the lipstick that you've applied, just merge this layer down onto the background copy. If you're looking for something more dramatic, you might try this technique. We'll make a blank layer to apply some color to open the swatches and choose a deep rich color something that you might just like to see on the lips here I'm going with a deep purplish red and I'll be painting in normal mode the opacity hundred percent flow hundred percent we're going to come in here and just apply some color right over her lips you don't have to be really neat but just remember that later you will be erasing the overspray just about like that. Then we play with blending modes. Go from normal and just check a few of these out and see if you come up with a color that you like. If you want a real saturated color, go into the overlay down to hard mix. This group will increase the contrast and saturation. Lighter colors lighten from lighter color here. These are all going to lighten the colors. Okay, so there's your light category. Darken colors multiply is going to be really deep and dark okay and here's your 
increasing contrast and saturation. So you want to actually pick a color. This is vivid light here. It's really going to be overdoing it, but y when you go into a blending mode, do you notice that you see pixel definition underneath it where normal you don't, okay? So I'm going to stick with the vivid light here and apply the layer mask. And then with black as a foreground color and 50% uh, opacity or so, I'm going to begin to use the edge of my brush here to remove the overspray. This is a fairly good sized brush. Now if you want a sharp edge then of course you would use a smaller brush. Okay, Depend upon how crisp an edge that you would want to have. So I'm going to be fairly soft out here. If you want to see what's underneath it just reduce the opacity a little bit for once in a while so you can kind of see where your paint is. You'll still be erasing at whatever opacity is set in the options bar for you. There we go. Bring the opacity to 100%, the brush size smaller, and remove the color from her teeth. Nobody likes lipstick on their teeth, particularly this color, huh? But this is how you can add a lot of rich color and still keep your pixel definition. Once this has been completed, then all you have to do is uh, bring your opacity back up again, zoom out, Wow! <laughs> and reduce the opacity to zero and then bring it back until you have just the right amount of color. So you can see that you could get quite dramatic with this depending upon what type of portrait it is. On uh, Karen here, I'm going to keep her very natural looking because that's the kind of portrait it is. She's a nice casual person in a nice casual outfit. And I'll just zoom in a little closer so you can see the before and after. Okay? just adding a little bit richer color. Good? I hope those are two good ideas for you for applying lipstick. I'm Jane Connor Zeiser and thank you for joining me for this session.